So what we've done is with 3D printing, we're able to print exactly what we need. So it's effectively zero waste construction, meaning we're eliminating the three to five pounds per square foot that goes to landfill in a traditional build, which adds up to about two to three tons of carbon per unit. Additionally, we're lowering labor hours by about 90% per unit. But at the end of the day, we're actually hoping to create more work by increasing the productivity by as much as 20 times, and also helping address the fact that we don't have enough skilled labor to build all the housing we need. Living room, bathroom, washer dryer. So we would like to build uh, 15 uh, lots, uh, develop 15 lots that will have primary home and a secondary home on the same lot. We're utilizing the 3D printed uh, panelized uh, designs by Mighty Buildings. Those panels are built, uh, printed in a factory in Oakland, then uh, delivered on site. And on site, they're assembled in a similar fashion like a Lego set. So it reduces the time uh, that it takes to, to build a home significantly. For in our method, we print on site, or another way to say is like the factory comes to you um, and prints the house right where it intends to be. Uh, we chose that method um, to eliminate a lot of the shipping costs and then also to give ourselves a lot of design freedom. The benefits that automation and digitization had brought to so many other industries with regard to speed and affordability um, were completely missing from the construction industry. And so that's, that was the genesis of Icon. And in 3D printing, it turned out to be, was like the most powerful automation of all the automations we could discover. We have a severe housing shortage in the millions of units here in California, and we need all the help, all the solutions that we can get. So to the extent that 3D printing can offer a faster, cheaper way to build even single-family housing units or small units, it can, it can address a portion of the problem.